Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about my favorite foundation slash tinted sunscreens for a no makeup makeup look. Each of the products that I am talking about in today's video, I have done individual reviews on. So if you guys do want even more details about those products than I gave in this video, then definitely check out those individual review videos. I will link all of them in the description box below. Starting off the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This is a newer favorite of mine, though I will say I have been using this for a few months now. Maybe Maybe two months maybe three months now at this point but I have been really really enjoying this it gives a gorgeous glow to the skin perfect for summer and this does have SPF 30 in it this is a reef safe mineral sunscreen it is alcohol free and this uses non nano zinc oxide 12.6 percent and all of the sunscreens that I'm going to talk about are mineral sunscreens none of these use any chemical filters I would say this gives a light coverage but it does a really really nice job at evening out the skin tone this does give a pretty dewy finish at least for me, but um, I do still really, really enjoy it. Sometimes when I use this though, I do kind of set it with a powder as well. I just set some areas of my face um, with a powder just to make sure that my skin doesn't get too oily looking throughout the day, but I do really, really enjoy this and I definitely do recommend it if you are looking for a tinted sunscreen. Next, this one is an actual foundation, but this is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. This has SPF 25 in it. For the sunscreen in this, they use zinc oxide 7.5 five percent now of course this is a foundation so normally when i do use this i also apply another sunscreen in addition to this this is a really beautiful this is a gorgeous gorgeous foundation it gives the skin the most beautiful just healthy look to the skin it blends in seamlessly i would say this gives a light to medium coverage you can definitely get to the medium coverage side with this i would say and again if you guys do want more details i have done a whole review and demo for this so definitely check that out if you are interested but this is beautiful and it has definitely become a favorite of mine. Next, this is a longtime favorite of mine and it is the Centegrity Impeccable Skin Sunscreen. It has been a little while since I have had this, but I was recently able to pick this up. I got it from Citrine Natural Beauty Bar. Um, I do actually have a discount code from them if you guys are interested, if you guys maybe wanted to try this product, I will have that discount code in the description box below. But this is one of my absolute, absolute favorite tinted sunscreens. This has SPF 30 and it uses non nano zinc oxide. This also has peptides and vitamin C and E. It also has blue light protection. It's oil free, vegan and reef friendly. And this uses zinc oxide 15%. Um, this is beautiful. I've talked about this quite a lot on my channel. This does give a dewy finish, but this feels kind of like a CC cream. This gives amazing coverage. If you do want a tinted sunscreen that's going to feel like actually a little bit more of a tint, it is going to really help to even out your skin tone. This is it. This reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC cream. This will give a medium coverage, obviously depending on how much you use, but definitely easily can get to a medium coverage. It's beautiful. I love it. Highly, highly recommend it. This is one of my all-time favorite tinted sunscreens that I've tried. And then another one, this is actually not a personal favorite of mine, but I wanted to mention it because I think there are a lot of people that might really, really like it. And it is a new product from Ilia. It is the Sea Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. Again, I do have an individual review on this, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But the only reason that I say that this is not my personal favorite is because I do feel like it is a little bit too dewy looking on my skin. Again, I have a combination skin, so if you do have oily skin or combination skin, maybe you would have a similar opinion as me but you know everybody ex has different experiences with products but I would say if you do have dry skin this might be something that you would really like this de definitely has a serum -y feel to it but is a much more runny formula this is going to be very light coverage it's really not going to give much coverage at all actually um, but if you do want something that is going to be really nourishing to the skin and also kind of have some of those skincare benefits in it then you might really like this this has niacinamide vitamin c and a lantoin so it does have some of those skincare ingredients in here as well well. And actually, I'd say a lot of these sunscreens definitely have some skincare ingredients in them. Um, but this one, I would say maybe even more so. Um, it's just super nourishing. If you have dry skin, you might really, really enjoy this. And then I do want to mention some of the Elta MD sunscreens. I love the Elta MD UV Element sunscreen. It's beautiful. This one gives a light coverage, but it just sinks into the skin 
so amazing. It feels so lightweight. It's going to give a little bit of coverage. It's not really going to give much coverage, but it is. It does have a tint, so it is going to help to even out the skin tone. This has SPF 44 in here. So it is a mineral sunscreen. It's oil-free, fragrance-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, sensitivity-free, and non-comedogenic. It uses zinc oxide 10% and titanium dioxide 5.5%. If you have acne-prone skin like I do, I'd say definitely check this one out. I love this. I have never had any issues with it causing me to break out. I also really love the Elta MD UV clear sunscreen. That's a favorite of mine. And I do also like the UV physical sunscreen. The Elta MD UV clear sunscreen though, I believe it does have one chemical filter in there. It uses both a mineral filter and also a chemical filter in there, but I do really like that one. It's gorgeous as well. And then I also like the UV physical sunscreen. This has SPF 41. This is the tinted one. Um, actually, all of the ones that I'm talking about are tinted. So UV Elements, I believe, only comes in a tinted version. UV Physical, you can get it in a non-tinted or a tinted version. And UV Clear, you can get it in a tinted or non-tinted version as well. Um, and then UV Glow is actually not like a huge, huge favorite of mine just because it is kind of thicker. It has more of a like a CC cream kind of feel. But that is actually the sunscreen that I have on right now. So it is really pretty. It gives the skin a gorgeous glow. Um, so you might like that if you like a CC cream type. Type of product but if you guys do want to um, check out my review for the Elta MD sunscreens I have a video where I talk about all four of the sunscreens that I have tried from them and I do demos and everything like that so you guys can see the coverages that they give how they apply how they look on the skin so if you guys are interested in checking out that video I will have it linked in the description box below um, but I go more in depth on each of these Elta MD sunscreens that I've tried in that video um, but the UV glow sunscreen has broad spectrum SPF 36 it also has niacinamide in it and it uses zinc oxide 20.2%. And then the UV Physical Sunscreen uses Zinc Oxide 9% and Titanium Dioxide 7%. So that is it. Those are the foundations and tinted sunscreens that I like for a no makeup makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what your guys' favorite foundations and tinted sunscreens are for a no makeup makeup look in the comment section below. And if you guys do want to check out any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you are not currently subscribed and if you want to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video.